Welcome back. Just like a couple of nights ago, we're looking at developments in the south, ice from Dallas, Texas through Arkansas, certainly affecting Memphis today and also um, a bit of Mississippi. It's been interesting down there. As far as us though, as you can see, uh, things are being held down south, just like two nights ago, this time by a high pressure system. So for us, we just have very light cloud cover and that's all that we're expecting. And the clouds that we see here are actually much more visible on our uh, photo than they are on the radar because the radar is indicating basically clear. That's how thin those clouds are right now. Overnight tonight, a low of 20 with the light clouds continuing, moving in and out. The winds will pick up from the southwest at times gusting up to 15 miles an hour. Everybody's wondering about the groundhog for tomorrow morning. Around sunrise, we do see thin clouds around Effingham, Newton, and Robinson. This will change a little bit. It depends on when your groundhog gets out there. And if you need to know the timing of tomorrow, if it's your job to wake up the groundhog, uh, maybe 6 o'clock because he's got to be out there officially by 6.59 here in Charleston. Sunset almost at 5.15. Our days are growing longer. Our temperatures are rising, but uh, well, tomorrow will be the day that temperatures get back up to normal. 41 for the high, 40 the usual high for um, February 1st through the 3rd, I believe, as I recall. And again, we will be approaching normalcy tomorrow on the second day of February, our three-day outlook for the coming weekend. Again, the high pressure is going to affect us on Friday. We're going to have very sunny but cool conditions and our temperature only 27. That's a usual development in the winter. Then things pick up near normal on Saturday with the winds shifting and coming at us out of the southwest. And then for Sunday, almost 50 degrees. It's going to be a bit more calm on Sunday. Uh, February 50s, will we have them again? Yes, we will. Last year, we had 50 degrees or more on 10 of our 28 days, a very mild month. Also last year, however, eight inches of snow on February 2nd and 3rd, uh, four inches plus on each of those days. So February, always a very interesting month. Now our seven day outlook, average extremes, high of 40, low of 21. We're going to be above average, except for that outlier there on Friday with a high of only 27. Saturday, again, back to more normal conditions. And then we really uh, step on the gas as far as moving those temperatures up. 54 is a possibility for Monday, 50 degrees on Tuesday. And you know there are more 50 degree days ahead. And one thing you're not seeing here on the seven day outlook is we're not seeing any chance of precipitation for the time being. That's our seven day forecast. 